They want the flag taken down, the Confederate flag, that is. Louis Farrakhan wants uh, the American flag taken down. Uh, Michael Myers, president of the New York Civil Rights Coalition, New York Daily News columnist, joins us again. Hello, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, you wrote a great piece, uh, one at the New York Daily News, one at Huffington Post, uh, taking down the Confederate flag for all the wrong reasons. How so? Well, let me say this, that this is really getting to the point where we are endangering our culture of freedom. It's in peril because people don't believe in free speech anymore. And they're chasing after the symbols of what they call hate. So I believe that I have to say this to Barack Obama, that DNA, that racism is not, it's not in our DNA. We are not a nation of haters. And I have to say that this guilt trip, this group, group guilt trip is absurd. How can you take the murderous actions of one individual and attribute that to an entire nation, much less to the South of the nation. So I don't get it. It's, it's anti-intellectual, it's irrational, it's a distraction from the truth. It's but it's convenient and it's political correctness Absolutely. and it serves an agenda. Absolutely. Everything is their agenda. And the mo most important about their agenda is emotionalism. All right, here's, here's another example, because you know and I know the polls, whether it's on abortion, uh, whether it's on global warming, mm -hmm. um, uh, whether it's on Voting Rights uh, Act, uh, whether it's on uh, gun legislation. Yeah. The polls all go the opposite way. Of, like if you just watch CNN and MSNBC and mainstream media and then you see the polls, you'd say, well, those polls have to be wrong because mm -hmm. all the people on TV tell me the opposite. Yeah. This is another example because CNN's own poll showed that a majority of Americans believe that it's not a symbol of racism. That's right. But that doesn't, what people believe and what they say and what they do it's irrelevant to the mass media who believe otherwise. And they will propagate this nonsense that the Confederate flag is a symbol of segregation. It's a symbol of racism. Well, was the American flag, I hate to even paraphrase Louis Farrakhan, <laughs> but was the American flag a symbol of hate and segregation when the people in Boston used the American flag to impale people because they were anti-busting? No! So this is what I'm talking about. We, we're now trying to ban words. We're trying to ban symbols. Here's an absurdity. Uh, Kid Rock, a rock star from Detroit, he has an exhibit in Detroit that he's paying for. You have a group of civil rights protesters, I put that in quotes, now saying, oh, we got to boycott Kid Rock because in, his, in one of his performances, or a few of his performances, they don't know how many, he he carried the Confederate flag as a rebel flag. So the museum now has to be boycotted. <laughs> so first they want to take the flag down yeah. from the Capitol. Yeah. Now they don't, want them, they don't want the flag anywhere, anywhere near I know. us. And, and not They're that, banning TV programs. And you can't, right, and you can't have, and Walmart and all these stores, they'll give you Hitler pictures, yeah. they'll give you all those uh, uh, Nazi paraphernalia, right. but you can't buy a Confederate you flag. Cannot, not only that, Walmart, well, I'm ashamed I'm ashamed of Walmart, but here you have the same people, or many of the same people, who are getting offended by these things. They are, they are offended by everything, and every word and every symbol, except they're the same one, they will rush to see Django Unchained with Jamie Foxx. They'll rush to an Oprah Winfrey movie. They'll rush to uh, see 12 Years of Slave. I, I don't get it. All right, let me change gears <laughs> here with you just for the, the remaining time that we have. Um, and, and let's talk about Donald Trump yeah. and his comments yeah. and his remarks. Yeah. I, and look at look what's happened as a result of that. ESPN, the PGA, Macy's, uh, NBC, yeah. uh, God knows what else. They don't want to have anything to do with Trump anymore because of what he said. Now, is that the same thing here? Yes, it is. Because people don't have, in a nation of that is supposed to be tolerant, they cannot stand people who disagree with them. I listened to Donald Trump's comment. I didn't hear what CNN and the other networks heard. I didn't hear it. I heard that he said there's a problem with illegal immigration. And guess what? There is a problem with illegal immigration. And the black community is disproportionately affected. I don't care what kind of but black, I'm just saying. black, white community. Yeah, yeah, but I'm there's just a saying. problem with undocument, undocumented illegals. people coming to our country, coming across the country. Call them illegals. And, and illegals. Okay. But the whole point is that San Francisco, New York City, sanctuary. sanctuary. How can you have a sanctuary, a sanctuary city? That's exceptions to federal law. It's supposed to be the exact opposite. That's why I say, Barack Obama, you have you have destroyed our 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 society that is based on the rule of law. And therefore, yeah, Trump's in trouble because he he didn't speak eloquently. But I will say it: 
illegal immigration is a problem. It has nothing to do with Hispanics or anybody else that was illegal. If you're illegal, you're not supposed to be in the country. And the only way you, st you deport 12 million people, you start with the first one. You get the message. When you start clamping down and enforcing the law, those people are going to start deporting themselves because they're not going to live under the radar like Mayor de Blasio wants them to do. Mayor, and the, the, Mayor de Blasio is a whole another, whole another piece of work. Uh, it's just o absurd. Always great to hear from you and see you. Good Thank seeing you, you, sir. And read them uh, at the Huffington Post and the New York Daily mm -hmm. News, of course. Uh, up next, folks, Jessica Vaughn will be here to talk about more on the immigration front. But first, and you might want to write this down, uh, Michael, uh, Newsmax wants to send one lucky couple on a seven-day Silver Sea cruise to the Caribbean this winter. And it could be Michael Myers. You never know. I want to uh, go. I want to go. This luxury cruise <laughs> aboard the Silver Wind is a trip of a lifetime. Now, to win, you have to enter. To enter our sweepstakes, you visit Newsmax.com slash sweepstakes. Again, that's Newsmax.com slash sweepstakes. And um, good luck, because uh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful cruise. Okay, much, much more on the uh, immigration front, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, lots more straight ahead as well on the Steve Malsberg Show.